Okay. There I am. Guess it takes a minute. Yep. Okay. Hi everyone. Um, I'm doing this thing where I'm broadcasting across a couple different channels and um, this is really confusing because I'm looking all over the place. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if I like this. So, um, so I'm testing out this new software that we have. I'm sorry, this is really confusing. I don't know where to look. The camera is right there. The studio is right there. I'm seeing that. Then I'm looking at comments. Uh, but so, anyways, um, some of you may know that in Bonjour, I need to catch up on my French because I know that Paranormal State has been airing in France. Um, but see, the problem is, is that I used to understand French pretty well in college, but when I speak it, it, my Southern accent cut came out in a huge way. I didn't even really have a Southern accent, but when I tried to speak French, I did. And my French professor begged me to stop speaking French. She was just like, you can write your answers down. Um, but, um, bonjour, je voudrais dance avec les sandwich. <laughs> but anyways, um, we are doing an investigation this weekend in Tennessee. This is my first residential investigation in probably 10 years. As some of you may know, I've been, um, I've been, um, in counseling, school for counseling. And prior to that, it was really focused on, you know, getting myself together. After Paranormal State, I kind of fell into addiction, and most of you guys know that story. But I <clears throat> have been taking my time to get ready to do a residential case. So anyways, we have, uh, it's something we've been building up to, and then we have a, a little training prog program within the PRS Bureau, and it's very private but we have a few training candidates coming along and we've had this case um, involves a couple and their child and they've been experiencing a lot of intense stuff on their property um, it's been terrifying them and causing a lot of issues they've submitted a fair amount of evidence and we've been in contact with them off and on for a while now so we are leaving tomorrow to go to Tennessee and we're going to be doing an investigation like we, you know, typically you see on Paranormal State. There will be some differences, obviously. And it's not that I'm... So Paranormal State was true in documentary form, that it followed us on what we do. So that is what you see with, you know, doing like... Um, you know, an initial meeting and then the walkthrough and the talking with clients and then dead time. That's what we really did. And for the most part, that's what we're going to continue to be doing. The clients have agreed to let us film parts of the investigation live. So long as it doesn't reveal anything um, that like doesn't show their faces, doesn't reveal their location, their names, anything like that. Uh, nor anything embarrassing. So it's an experiment for us. So we don't really know how much we'll be broadcasting, but for, for example, if we do like the walkthrough, you won't be seeing the clients. You'll just be seeing us walking through the house. And you know, we gotta still run things by the clients. Um, 
So, um, it's so interesting. I'm, I see red comments, blue comments. Maybe the red comments are from YouTube. So anyways, hi YouTube people. I don't know if anyone from YouTube is watching. So we're linking this up and I'll get to how you guys can watch and everything in a second. So, oh look, I have a little graphic. Wow, it's so, so neat. Um, so we have this app called the PRS Bureau and parts like kind of like after some of the later stuff, like when we have our conversations and we, we do a bit more of a Q and A that will be on the PRS Bureau app. I'm not saying we won't do it on YouTube or Facebook, but so like think about paranormal state, you know, when we talk about the case, we drive there, we do the walkthrough and stuff like that. Parts of that will be filmed or broadcast again, so long as it doesn't um, interfere with those, the core mission of protecting the clients' identities. Um, but so just keep this in mind, and I'm hoping that those of you who are, um, uh, sorry, those of you who are watching and may be watching it live, maybe you can remind people of this. We're not going to stop to look at comments as we're doing this. So, you know, people might be like, Ryan, I have a question, blah, blah. Like, I'm not looking at the comment section because clearly you'll see me on camera. I'm doing my investigation. So some of the Q and A stuff, you know, when we have like moments to sit down and chat, you know, we'll probably do one on Facebook and YouTube, but then it'll also be on the PRS Bureau app. So those of you who join the PRS Bureau, um, you should get alerts about it. Really trying to figure this whole thing out. And the reason why we're doing this is, you know, education. I mean, I'm sure it'll be fun for you guys too, but for us, you know, I'm, at least myself, I'm moving more into the education. And so, yeah. So yeah, like trying to let people see like how an investigation is done. And I'm really sorry, this is so confusing because I'm looking at all these different angles and you know, and I, I clearly need to shave and I look really tired, but it's okay. Um, but so I know it might be a little confusing because we're doing this broadcast on Facebook, YouTube, and then on the PRS Bureau app. Hopefully it'll work out. So, um, yeah, I'm, I'm really hoping you guys enjoy it. So tomorrow we're leaving and we'll be checking in, you know, staying off site, and then Friday we arrive and, you know, like I said, hopefully it all works out well. May not. Internet service may be crappy, um, maybe technical difficulties, we don't know. But in theory, while we're doing the investigation, you know, we could do multi-camera. So, like, in other words, we can bounce between different locations with, you know, during the investigation and stuff. And then, um... Dr. Darren Wallace is coming. Dr. Darren is a family, marriage and family therapist based out of Colorado. Um, works for the Denver Institute and a couple other places. Um, and he's a licensed professional counselor. And he's coming in as a consultant. And for those of you who don't know, when you are a counselor, you have to be licensed in every state that you want to practice in. So in other words, you become a counselor in, say, South Carolina, it doesn't mean you can start being serving as a therapist in Tennessee or California. You have to get a license to practice in that specific state. They're starting to make that a bit easier, um, called state reciprocity, but we're not there yet. So anyways, it's kind of like paranormal state, you know, when we'd have counselors come on board. And I know to the general public, they don't care, but we're putting that disclaimer out there just so people who may be in the professional field understand the parameters and how we're operating. Uh, so 
if you've watched Paranormal State, I'm assuming most of you guys have, I believe that therapy is a huge part, is a, has a huge part to play in paranormal investigations and a resolution um, with clients. So now we're kind of building that in a little bit um, with, uh, sorry, I'm seeing different comments everywhere. So if I just look like I'm out of it, it's because I've got three different screens and this is new to me. And like I see comments on the studio thing and I see it on my computer, my desktop, and I see it on my laptop. <laughs> so, um, but hopefully you guys enjoy it and then we're gonna have a psychic walkthrough. So, there may be a loose schedule of like when you can kind of expect to see things, but really, if you want to enjoy this, my suggestion is to hit notifications on YouTube, on Facebook for this, my page, and you can turn it off after the weekend. So that way you know when we're going live. And then on the PRS Bureau app, for those of you who've already joined, my suggestion is turn on notifications for that too. For those who are, have been members since last fall, hopefully they'll, they'll state or they'll agree with me that we don't really send notifications to the phone that often because we, I hate it. I hate it when I, an app is just constantly like bling, 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 bling. It's just like, stop. So we tend to try to save it for like big announcements. And in this case, you know, going live on the PRS Bureau app. Um, so. Lisa Von Dane, awesome. Well, we have Belmont in end of the month now, yeah. In South Carolina, we've got a handful of tickets left. Myself, Aaron Thompson from 28 Days Haunted. Um, James Anito, a demonolo lay demonologist is coming. This could be a fun time. We're kind of locking ourselves in a haunted hotel and having a spooky time. And then we're going back to West Virginia State Penitentiary in May. So you can find out more by going to prsevents.com. So that's my little, my little fun advertisement in the middle of all this. So I'm, I admit I'm kind of a little nervous, a little apprehensive, but... I'm also really excited. I want to say I will feel, it will feel natural, but, um, hi Sally. Houston, what is Houston? Anyone who's a fan of Superman might get that. Awesome, Jamie. Yeah, hope to see you there. Hope you sign up. Um, Sorry to hear that, James. So anyways, I'm seeing comments from YouTube and Facebook. So some of you guys on my Facebook might be like, who's he talking to? And some of you guys on YouTube might be like, who are you guys talking to? So um, this would be exciting. So, you know, when we were doing Paranormal State, I always wanted to do a live investigation. But and we had talked about it, but it was more about doing like a big location, not a residential, because... You know, we're like, well, that could be a little dull and boring. I was like, yeah, but to the people who are really into this stuff, they're going to love it. So I'm sure there'll be people who go on there and go, this is boring. No shit. You know, it's live. That's what happens. And we are focused on the investigation. We do have someone who's going whose sole job is to film and document. So it's not like me where I'm like holding the thing and going, hey, guys, like, there's going to be someone who will be doing this while we focus on the investigation. So, Denise, what is the pay? I'm so confused. If I'm confused, you guys must be confused. Um, so, I should have written this. 
pre-wrote this up so I could just click on it and it would show up. Um, it is... I don't know how to do it. I'm freezing. I'm sure I'll do another live chat tomorrow and I will make sure I have all those details up. I wish I could post a link and while you're watching you can click on it. I don't... I'm sure there's a way. I don't know how to do it. So I'm in grad school right now. I my ability to do a lot of stuff um, is limited and my brain is also not all there and of course I'm getting like major sensory overload I, so that way you guys maybe I'll when I'm at the end I'll show you guys what I have to look at it's all over the place which is my fault so so yeah most of the a good chunk of the investigation will be broadcast on Facebook or YouTube and when I say a good chunk, I mean for when the times we go live, they will pop up here. Um, if you really like it and you want this to be something we do, then my suggestion, it'd be awesome if you guys, I think on Facebook it's called Stars, if you throw some stars um, and things like that. Um, on the PRS Bureau app, uh, there's a way you could be a VIP subscriber. And we're going to do something special for the VIP subscribers on the weekend. Um, but mainly what we're doing with that is we're trying to... We would like to do more investigations. So, and we're, we're moving to that. So, but on top of that, I hope you guys just enjoy it. Um, and please be respectful. I know, like, that's impossible, but... Um, in the sense that understanding that while we're doing this, we won't be looking at comments um, the entire time. So, like, you're watching, but like, we're not able to. So, but there will be times where we'll sit down like this. Um, so. Night taking, toking, says I miss Paranormal State, I heard it was all fake, but still, I say that about every show, which I can't speak for other shows. What I do know is that if you look at Paranormal State, what could have been faked? You know, it's not like every episode we had this over-the-top evidence. I mean, most of the times it was like, did you hear that whisper? I mean, if we were going to fake shit... I think we'd be a little bit more creative than that. Um, so, and then most of the episode, if you really look at it, it hinges on the clients' testimonies. That's their story, not ours. So, um, you could believe it or not, but I just don't logically see... I mean, I get it. People say that all the time. On day one, people are like, oh, this, sh this show is already proven to be fake. And then, of course, you know, Due to my past, you know, some people have added that as to an argument for why Paranormal State's fake. You know, when I was doing Paranormal State, I was not an addict. Uh, I fell into addiction after. And that's when I went crazy and acted like addicts do. So, but that's up to you, you know. And, um, but yeah, you know, it's totally okay if people feel that way um but I'm, I'm I'm very proud of the work we did so Voldelops from YouTube says I'm in the hospital hip replaced replace me yesterday this is an absolute treat well awesome I hope this helps um and I hope you enjoy it so like I said it's when I say it's going to be live, I don't mean like it's going to be non-stop, 24-7. Um, if we feel as if we're able to, we might say, look, here's kind of the loose outline of what we're doing today. And we might say like kind of 5 p.m.-ish, we might do this. Well, 5 p.m. may come and go and we haven't done it yet. We don't know. So. But, um. There's so many people from France on this. I hope there's a translation 
us Americans, we don't really, we're not really bilingual. I mean, does it, some of us are, but... I feel like I was nonchalantly pointing at Ghost Adventures. No, I, I promise I'm not, because I've never, I haven't even seen the show. I haven't, you know, I haven't seen any of them. I think every so often I've sat down and watched some episode of something, but I just don't. I never have, even when Paranormal State was out. I didn't even watch Paranormal State all the t time on TV. Um, but it's just, yeah, it's never really been a a thing. I can't explain it. So, Sean, thank you. I'm looking tired, which is just how I am, actually, period, right now. So, I have two more months of this semester, and it's a, it's a lot. And then, of course, I have an internship, which is really rewarding. Sometimes intimidating but it's just really rewarding so and by internship is we get to practice a little bit under supervision of course so looking forward to Belmont yay Fayette glad you're going so I'm hoping that these, um, this chat is up to, like, is actually, hi, a fellow, I'm hoping that it's, like, I've seen you guys' this chat in real time, it looks like I am. So, what we'll do is, probably tomorrow, we might, tomorrow we're, there, you might get to watch one thing live, which is, like, our, um, case briefing where myself and the team, we're gonna kinda of get together, talk about specifics of the case. Not all of it though, but parts of it. Um, and then on Friday, we are arriving to do the investigation. Dr. Darren arrives a bit later Friday evening. We're gonna have a psychic walkthrough. Um, the, the medium psychic who's doing it virtually has agreed, I think, to allow us to broadcast that too. So that's gonna be kind of cool. Um, and Dr. Darren has agreed to, you know, obviously participate in this. Like I said, I, get, I have a feeling that all throughout the weekend people might be like, why can't we see the clients? Hopefully if you guys are watching, you know, or here who are watching now or watching this weekend, you can hopefully explain. Thank you, Liz. We we're all watching because we love Paranormal State. I appreciate that. So, I, I'm hoping you guys enjoy it. It's a lot, and we'll probably do like little summaries here and there. You know, when, if we have breaks, where we'll say, okay, this is what's happened so far. We're gonna try really hard that after these lives are done, they will be posted so that way you can kind of go and look at it chronologically if you'd like, and we might number them. So like one, two, three, four. Um, that way you can go like, okay, if I wanna watch this, here's what I gotta do. So, how do we get the app? You go to paranormalbureau.com. So, let me see if I can, I don't wanna, I don't want to touch anything that breaks anything. So, um, let me let me do this. What does this do? Okay. So you guys are seeing like flower, or you're seeing grass. <laughs> um, maybe you're not. I don't know. Wheat, yes. All right, so let me do this. I gotta figure out how to edit it again. 
Oh yeah, here we go. Edit properties. Okay, one second. Hush, KK, hush. Hush. Um, apologies, not very professional, but boom, okay. All right, so then I think I go back to, which one is my, there, boom. Kennedy, you were doing so well. Hush. It, my dog is a very much a guard dog, so anytime he hears any sound. So, so there's the bureau at paranormalbureau.com and you go on a website or on your phone and you could download the app. So anyways, we're doing this investigation because obviously, you know, it's time. I feel like it's enough time has passed by and it's time to get out there. And, and as I'm in, you know, heavy in my, you know, counseling training and whatnot, I think this is a perfect opportunity. It's also spring break for our program. So it's like, okay, we get, get an opportunity to do this. The family really seems, it really seems like the family needs, you know, help. And the fact that Dr. Darren is coming is really important. And, you know, just when it comes to everything we look for in a case, you know, this one kind of fits the bill. So, hush. Uh, I actually just did an update on IM6 um, in the Bureau app for the for those who subscribe to the VIP section I do these webinars every two months about paranormal state um, not really an update but just talking about the case a little bit but Emily no so I'll post I'll try to post specific details maybe even I'll post on a website you can watch it on my Facebook you can watch it on YouTube and then Bonus stuff will be on the Bureau app. So. Oh, people from Sumter. Awesome. Thank you, Nicole. Addiction sucked. But I'm on the other end of it. No, I'm not growing a mustache. You know, I, no, everyone knows I can't grow a mustache. This is about as long as I'll get. So, yeah, I, there's a bit of a delay, I apologize, but um, I don't even know, I mean, I guess I'll get analytics later. So, so anyways, if you subscribe to my YouTube channel, which is, I can post the link, I think. Hold on. It's pretty simple. Posting it on... Facebook for those of you who are on Facebook. There you go. It's pretty much youtube.com slash at the Ryan Buell. Um, that way, whichever app you enjoy watching thing li things live in, there you go. And then on the Bureau app, we'll have um, some specific stuff. So, so. Yeah. Um, so that's it. You know, so just keep a lookout for it. I hope you guys are excited. And, um, yeah. Um, I, I, I don't, I know I, I don't really use my YouTube channel that much, so that's why I'm excited to do this part because I see that I've got like, a lot of subscribers I just don't use it so um, I think I'm getting duplicate comments now yeah big time it's like going back and forth so 
anyways. All right, guys. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Um, it might be late at night. Who knows? Maybe I'll do something while we're traveling. I don't know. And then um, Friday and Saturday, there'll be quite a lot of stuff going on. So, and thank you all for the stars in advance. That's really cool. Um, maybe we'll try doing something special. So, cool. I really appreciate you guys' patience in this because I'm still confused about all this. But, yeah.